This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Anybody excited to be in the house of the Lord on today? Amen. It's a blessing to be in the land of the living. 
Would you all take a quick moment and encourage your church family and tell them that this is still your winning season. Just encourage someone, encourage them. Tell them this is still your winning season. Amen. After they tell you that, come on and give God praise. Any winners in the house? Woo! With Christ Jesus, we always win. Hallelujah. Amen. We give God praise. We thank our musicians. Give God praise to our musicians. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You all may take your seats in the presence of the Lord. We're so excited to see each and every one of you. You showed up to help us reach lost souls for Christ. Amen. And on behalf of Bishop Dupree and First Lady Dupree, we praise God and we thank God for you and we appreciate you. And we are praying that God blesses you in every area of your lives. Hopefully everyone came with a heart of expectancy, expecting to have a great encounter with God because we have a dynamic speaker in the house on today. Not only is she a dynamic speaker, but she is a dynamic praise and worship leader. She will sing until chains are broken. Amen. And we have Minister Mary Cook in the house. She's going to bring forth the word on today. Amen. So we're going to go ahead and get these quick announcements out of the way. On last Sunday, we made a big announcement that our announcements are now going to be done digitally. So hopefully you all received a card from the ushers. We're going to be sending our announcements out about through way of email. If you don't have a card or you didn't fill one out, just raise your hands and Mother Helen Wilson will gladly give you one. But please fill out this information. This is how you're going to receive all of the announcements in whole. That way, in this fourth quarter, we can give you more God and less announcements. Amen. So, <laughs> all right, all right. God is good. We want the fire to burn, amen, and we don't want to quench the spirit. But let's do an um, uh, upcoming announcement. Please mark your calendars next Sunday. Don't forget about our youth, y'all. Don't forget about our youth. A youth for harvest on next Sunday at 12 noon. Come out and see our youth in action. And I received word on today. Their theme is glowing up with Jesus. All right, we're excited. So that's next Sunday at 12 noon. And immediately following that service, there will be a christening of a baby. Also, if you're interested in making contributions to our youth department so that they can have a youth for harvest on next Sunday, you can see Sister Vicki Sloan and she can give you details on how you can be a blessing to our youth department. We thank God they're in the house of the Lord and they're not on the streets, amen. And we're gonna get those ones off the street to come into the house of the Lord there's still room in the youth choir that our young people can come in and have a Holy Ghost party for Jesus. Hallelujah. Also on next fifth Sunday, there will be no Sunday school. Sunday school will ravine on the first Sunday in November at 9.30 a.m. But we will be having our 8.30 a.m. service with Minister Sylvia Artis. We invite you to come out to our 8.30 broadcast. That's all on next Sunday. This upcoming Wednesday, join us for one hour of power, our midweek fuel, this Wednesday from 12 noon to 1 p.m. with our pastor, Bishop Nathaniel Dupree. Come one, come all. Help reach lost souls for Christ. If you can't make it in person, we ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, go to our YouTube channel to see the service live. Also on behalf of Elder Patrick Bronack Sr., he would like to say a big thank you to all who follow him down to Community Church of God in Christ on last Sunday. And to those who couldn't follow but pray, he just want to let you know that he appreciate you and he thank you all so very much. This concludes all of our announcements. Are y'all ready to get into the presence of the Lord? All right, if you would rise to your feet, we're going to say our creed together. 
and our scripture of the year together. Let's give honor to the leaders of the house, our pastor, Bishop Nathaniel Dupree, and our first lady, Minister Queen Dupree. To all of our visitors, we welcome you. We praise God for you. We pray that you come back and worship with us at any and all of our services. All right, to those of us who are so dependent on this screen, it has to come from within, y'all. We don't have nothing up here. So I have my phone out for the scripture. All right, here we go. I feel bad. I saw that face. Okay. All right, our scripture is going to come from 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. And we're going to read it together. All together, if I shut up heaven, that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people, who are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sins. Woo, we got it, y'all. We got it. The word coming from within. I did not use my phone. Praise God. All right. Here's the big kicker, y'all. We're going to do the creed. All right. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> All together. segment from Sister Letitia Ferguson and the Holy City Young Adult Praise Team. Receive them at this time. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. Say, uh, Lord, uh, help me to hold out. Uh, is there any believers out there today uh, that need the Lord to help them to hold out? Uh, if there's any believers in the audience today, uh, stand up on your feet uh, and give God praise. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah.
bills I do. I can't depend. Don't know where the money's coming from. I can't depend. I can't depend. I can't depend. I can't depend. When the doctor gave me up. I can't depend. I can't depend. I can't depend. I can't depend on
for you and we're going to join them together. Amen. They're coming from Exodus the fourth chapter and the second verse. First Samuel 17 and 40. Exodus 4 and 2 Samuel 17 and 40. And the Lord said unto him what is that in thine hand. And he said, Arise. And he took his staff in his hand and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook and out of the and put them in a shepherd's bag, excuse me, which he had even in a scrip. And his sling was in his hand. And he drew near to the Philistine. Turn to your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, power, strength, authority. What's in your hand? Now turn to the other neighbor and tell that neighbor, neighbor, tell Goliath, I'm coming for it. I will not be defeated, but I'm going to defeat him. Every obstacle that's facing you can be taken down. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. This is a victory season. When you look in the mirror, what are you looking at? I'm looking at victory. Uh, I'm 
overcomer in this season. Tell Goliath, I'm coming for him. I'm tired of him messing in my business. I'm tired of him messing with my children. I'm tired of him messing with things on my job. Tell him I got power, strength, and authority. And I'm taking him down. The 17th chapter tells us that the Philistines and the Israelites were at war with each other. They were always in conflict with each other. Where the Philistines and the Israelites, they decided to go to war and they decided to set up their battle in so-called in Judah. The Philistines was on one side of the hills while the Israelites was on the opposite side of the hills. And in between was a valley called the Valley of Elah. That's where the battle was going to begin. And so the Philistines, they had their champion by the name of Goliath. Tell Goliath, I'm coming for him. Yay! And so Goliath, he began to taunt the Israelites for 40 days and 40 nights. He tried to intimidate them, bully them. He did this thing day in and day out. Why the Israelites uh, was on the other side and over in uh, Bethlehem uh, there was a man uh, by the name of Jesse. Jesse had eight sons, uh, three of them uh, he sent off uh, to fight the war uh, with Goliath uh, and the Philistines. But little David stayed on behind. And while David stayed behind, David was a man after God's own heart. And the reason he was a man after God's own heart, he was faithful, he was a worshiper, he was a praiser, he was obedient. He was responsible, and God, he loved that in David. David loved himself some God, and God loved himself some David. And while David was out in the field, he had been anointed to be the next king of Israel. Jesse came to David. He told David, he said, David, I need to talk to you. I'm coming and talk to you. I got to tell you, I need you to go up to the battlefield and find out what's going on with the war. What's going on with your brothers? It's all is well with them. So David, he was obedient. He went to his father. He said, Father, I'll make the journey. So his father gave him some cheese, gave him some supplies, and some horses. He said, take these on down to the enemy camp. And David took it on down to the battlefield. But when David, when David, when he got there, he found Goliath walking back and forth, taunting the children of Israel. Tell Goliath, 
I'm coming for it. He looked over and decided where the Israelite was. He was so disgusted. The Israelites, they were hiding down in the ditches, hiding in the trenches. They were afraid of old Goliath. David, he caught an attitude because the people of God, they knew better. After all, that God had brought them out. How he parted the Red Sea. How he let them out of the land of Egypt. David said to Goliath, how dare you? How dare you defy the armies of the living God. The lion, I'm coming for you. I'm going to take you down today. But victory is my season. So David, he went away to the brook. Sometimes we got to go to the brook and find what we need to fight the enemy with. If you got to find five stones, I don't know what your stones are, but the five stones that David found represented God's grace, God's goodness, and God's favor over David's life. David, he took those stones, he took them, and put them in his hand. They have the power, strength, and authority. He used that stone. He put it in the sling. He took that slingshot, and he slew the lion. And the scripture said, the lion fell straight on his face. And David wasn't finished. He went on down to where the lions were. Sometimes you got to go down to the enemy camp and take back what the enemy tried to take from you and I. Oh, David took the sword that the lion had. He cut the lion's head off. Then he took the sword, he lifted it up. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not walk. He making me to lie down in green pasture. He restored my soul. Yea, though I walk through the valley of death, Thy rod and thy staff, the rod and thy staff, the rod and thy staff, the rod and thy staff, with power, strength, and authority. Use what's in your hand. Tell the lions, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for me. I shut it down. So I say to you all today, whatever your challenge is, don't be afraid. Have courage. Because God will fight your battle. He'll give you strength to make it. He'll give you strength to go through with power, strength, and authority. Use it! Use it! Yeah! 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 We need power, Lord. We need I'm coming for it.
What a way! Then she, then the Lord used her. Then the Lord used the choir. Then the Lord blessed the visitor. Our musician. We done had a good time today. Those songs say we done had church. Deacon Wilson, we done had church and had a good time. The preacher preached today. The Lord is. The Lord is everything. They were dying in the backside of the fast. Uh -huh. Wasn't qualified. Uh -huh. They put him on the backside. Uh -huh. But I don't care how far you is back. Amen. God can bring you up to the front. Amen. Can't God use you? The man went into Jezebel house looking for somebody that could go down and the feet go lying. Sammy said, the Lord saw me. The Lord don't make no mistake, do it. Sent him to Jezebel house. And Jezebel said, well, I done brought all my Lord. That who we believe that will qualify. Amen, amen, amen. They pass one, yeah. reject. Uh -huh. Nothing reject. Uh -huh. And nothing not qualify. Uh -huh. Tall six of them uh -huh. came through. Uh -huh. But nobody would do. Uh -huh. Sammy said, now I know the Lord don't make no mistake. Uh -huh. How many out there know the Lord don't make no mistake? The man said, got to be somebody. God don't make no mistake. Ain't that right, Dr. Pure Reverend Pew? God don't make no mistake. I said, wait a minute, I got one down there, but I always put him aside for a reject. Uh-huh. Amen. God can bring him to the bottom of the back to the front. Yes, amen. God is able. Somebody has to label you and you for to be nobody. But God can take nobody and make somebody. Didn't God make you somebody? Didn't God brought you from the tail to the head? Clap your hand and say, thank you, Jesus. Woo! Sammy brought him in. Wait a minute, I got one, one more. Somebody say this one more. You remember that song you used to sing, One More River? One more river to crawl. I ain't gonna sing it today. Sometimes I go get him, but to me, he's a reject. But to me, he's nobody, but he's still my child. The man said, well, I'm gonna wait right here until you get him. Yes, sir. They went down there and told him, say, we want you to come up front and meet somebody yes. that say you gonna be somebody. Yes. Say, wait a minute, you better go clean up cause you smelling like billy goats. Smelling like hogs and 
Say, you can't meet this man like that. The man said, go get him. You can't clean him up, but I know a man that can. Do y'all know that man that can clean you up, fix you up, do you up, seal you up with the Holy Ghost, and that will pop. Go get him. He brought little old Davy, nothing but a little shepherd boy. Uh -huh. But he was strong in mind. And in strength. Amen. The brought little old David up. Thank you, daughter. You did a good job with this sermon. But you know, all y'all know how I, how I did. Amen. They brought him up. Somebody said, get some odor to spray him when he get here. They said, let him come on. Uh, amen. You may be on wine, you may be on alcohol, you may be on drugs, but come on. God can fix you up. Man can't clean you up. You'll get back, back in the same state. Your man clean you up. But when God fix you up, clean you up, nobody can do you like God. They brought him, brought old David up there. They David, I was led to come down here to the, your father house to pick up, pick out somebody that will go out. David say, I'm here, but I'm not qualified. But I want to be glorified. Say, so go down in the valley. Say, so you heard about King Saul? Big giant, strong, everybody afraid of him. Have you heard about him? Say, so your brother down there, he showed. He can't do nothing. They out there on the battlefield, but they's afraid. They don't have no idea who you are. You can go down there and be a winner. A cornbread picking boy. Billy goat. Sheep. Cotton picker. Peanut picker. Say, so go down there. David say, I go. Okay. I had a dream that I'm going to be on the battlefield. Amen. I go. I've been wrestling with sheep, tussing with lime. You know, I wrung the, I wrung the sheep out of a lime mouth. Yeah, I go, I go. I go, Lord. God said, go, David, I'll be with you. Have God ever told y'all he'll be with you? i never leave you, neither will I forsake you. I go. Somebody said, let me get him a uniform. Somebody said, come on here, Sammy. Get that horn off. Thank you, Jesus. you got to get it right. Got that horn off. Walked up to him. I got the top on this. I don't want to pull it on your head. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Now put it back up. Yeah, you got it off, ain't you? Oh, yeah. Uh, I got to put all on you. Uh -huh. God told me to knock somebody at this house. Uh -huh. You want to check it behind him? 
and I'm going to anoint him. Thank you, Jesus. Acts, 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 Acts 1 and 8 say, after the Holy Ghost come. You shall have power. And it not at all on his head. And he throws up his hand and say, thank you, Jesus. I got power. I go on go lie. I rise against a bear. I rise against a lion. I took the sheep out of the. And I got power. Somebody say, I got power. The bear ain't got no match. The lime ain't got no match because I got power. I've been anointed with the Holy Ghost. That will fire. I walk. I walk on this big bear. Take the lime out of the bear mouth. Lit his head in two and say, thank you, God. I got power. Say, I got power. Washington, D.C., I got power. Just a bit. I got power. Anybody got the power? That's with a mighty friend and fire. I got power. Little David say, Go lie, you may be a bigger bear, uh-huh. but I got power, uh-huh. and I'm going on it. I feel the Holy Ghost moving on the inside, working on the outside, and I'm going on it. Go lie, you say, I'm gonna take that little chump, I'm gonna feed him, I'm gonna eat him, I'm gonna destroy him. But I hear little David say, he don't know the secret. He don't know the secret, Washington, D.C. I got the Holy Ghost. I can destroy you. I got fire. That's the destroyer. Deacon Ron Harvey, I got I don't know about you, but I know it. Be go lie, saying I'ma feed him. I'ma feed him to the bear. I'ma destroy him. For the hell of David say, Pabu, Pabu, Holy go Pabu, Pabu go Pabu, Pabu, send the power, send the power, send the power. Hold me. Don't forget, you got to have what you need when you're going up in the for the devil. The devil ain't no joke. Devil been out here for four thousand years or no more. He ain't no joke now. You better have it. Like Ephesians 6 and 11 say, put on the whole army. You better have it. You can't just name it and claim it. You can't just fake it. You got to show no make it. He going up on Ogoliah. Ephesians say, put on the whole arm of God. Cause that man ain't no joke. You better make sure you save. You better make sure you holy ghost fear. 
Make sure you find your baptized. Make sure you got heaven in your view. Make sure you determine to go through. Oh, big old lie, you just puff. David said, wait a minute. I've been singing, I've been praying, but I better check myself again. Reverend Pugh, he said, I better check myself again. Amen. Deacon Wilson, he started and it turned around. That don't be I got what I need. He took that one prong, plain, plain shot. Uh -huh. When I was coming on, I had a one prong. Other boys would go a tiny by a two prong uh -huh. until they could aim straight. Amen. But I could make mine get my daddy old in a two, uh -huh. cut it. And I have one rock. You get a double prong, and you can put in more than one. Mm -hmm. But David went over to that rock, to that pie, and got him five. Yeah. Say so he got five rock. Yeah. Call just in case he said, uh -huh. Goliath. Had four extra brothers. Amen, amen. Uh -huh. And I better get enough for more than one. Amen. All right. He just didn't get one rock. He got five. In case of one slip or one miss, he can take on the most. You better get the Holy Ghost with power and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I got to get down for me and I, I see y'all ready for me to go. I can tell when y'all ready for me to sit down. I ain't been up here for 60 some years for nothing. I've been standing in pulpit for 64 years. I ain't been standing here for nothing. But David took that one rock, uh -huh. just one. Yes. When you get the Holy Ghost and fire, you don't need to get but one power. Uh -huh. That one will do it. Get the Holy Ghost, that will do it. Get power, and that will do it. The devil can't stand the power. They return it loose. Which one of y'all was saw? Oh, y'all don't want to be something. That's all right. That's all right. Y'all don't look like Saul. How come I pick you out? I pick you out because you were tall like Saul. Stand on up, bro. Saul was coming on him. Saying, I'm going to have your head. What for the book? I'm going to eat you. I'm going to do that. David said, just one more step. Get a little bit closer, big boy. I'm going to take care of your head. That'll do it right there. Woo! So I went down. Down. Say, I got him. I got him. Somebody say, he's down. I got him. I got the Holy Ghost. I got power. The devil is down. God is up. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm a stop on your head. I got you. Somebody say, I got you, devil. You are down. You are under my feet. Ain't you glad the devil under your feet? Thank you, daughter. I got to get down now. Cause I know how y'all are. Y'all are start walking out on me. 
but that's all right. I got the devil under my feet. Give the Lord a great round of praise. I tell you, my South Carolina buddy are here today, Reverend Dr. George Pugh. Give a hand. Give a hand for Reverend Pugh. My good friend. We from South Carolina together, and we walk on the devil's head. We keep the devil on our feet. Give another great round of praise for Dr. Reverend Pugh, my South Carolina buddy. Thank you, Reverend Pugh, for being with us today. And uh, so many of y'all good friends. There's another one over there to us his name. Jesse, what? Jesse Lou. Lou. Thank God for Reverend Jesse Lou. Amen, amen. And now we're going to turn this service back over to the speaker. And she's going to get the benediction. Thank y'all for coming. Amen. Thank y'all for praying. Then we had a good time. Amen. We thank and praise God for all that has <clears throat> been said and done. Yes. The Goliaths that are in your lives, whatever you face and they challenge you, have courage, stand still, and know that God is real, that God will fight your battle. Don't try to fight your battle. You know, they got a, a saying, praise the Lord, and I'm just going to be a half a second, praise the Lord, that goes around on the job. Uh, I had a supervisor that used to tell me, pick your battles. Have you all ever heard that? They always say, pick your battle. Well, pick your battle. Whatever your battle is, know that it belongs to the Lord and not us. Praise the Lord with every heart standing, hands raised, praise the Lord. To him who is able to keep us faultless from falling, now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, abide with God's people, now henceforth and from this day forevermore, take us safely to our destination. In Jesus Christ we pray, amen. 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 All right. All right now.